Hi, I'm Martina Malarkey, a Group Technical Environmental Specialist for Magnox South. Uh, welcome to the world of nuclear decommissioning. Uh, today we're coming from Barclay site, uh, one of the oldest of the Magnox um, nuclear power stations and now in latter stages of decommissioning. <laughs> I provide advice to the sites on environmental pollution prevention controls and support them in, the, in designing the implementation measures to put in effective control measures. I initially started working at Magnox as a contractor. I came on a six-month contract. Ten years later, I'm here as a full-time employee. I didn't shine academically, particularly at school, came away with uh, two A-levels, six A-levels. I did go to university and started studying botany. The best aspects of my job are the variety in it. It's intellectually stimulating, it's about problem solving, it's about delivery. Uh, I can work on quite dry aspects of environmental law. The bit that's enjoyable is getting the pragmatism uh, and agreeing that with the regulators in terms of how we implement it at sites. Uh, working on environmental improvement programs and the environmental improvement strategy that I've developed for Magnox South. And to do that effectively, it does help having great people. There are some challenging people, intellectually challenging people, uh, working in the industry, and they're also a great deal of fun. The bigger picture that I find rewarding and actually feel a great sense of responsibility for, again, is those solutions. The solutions that we implement affect not just our immediate environment here and now. The responsibility for delivering effective solutions is for generations to come. And I actually find being a part of that rewarding. My advice for somebody starting out in environmental sciences, um, if you're a graduate, uh, try and get into a good company with a graduate scheme and that will provide you with a really good foundation and it will broad, it'll be a good broad base on which to start so you'll get project management experience, you'll get commercial experience as well as the technical experience that will be motivated you to go there in the first place. There are a range of competencies, um, broadly between two camps I would say, one in terms of having some sort of basic intelligence, good analytical skills, good problem solving skills and the other aspect is about applying that and being effective in delivery. So applying it is good project management skills, good communication skills. The future going forward for nuclear decommissioning is going to be about identifying innovative solutions and this is a really exciting part of it. It's challenging our previous strategy ideas, looking again, looking for efficiency savings. As a sector, demand for skills for people is growing. Looking forward, predictions so far are um, 14,000 extra people by 2025 at a rate of about 1,000 graduates each year. Myths about environmental sciences and scientists. Boring. It's not. It's an amazingly diverse field, from the pure sciences to applied sciences. Another myth is people are nerdy. Most <laughs> certainly they're not. Scientists are not locked away, boffins in back rooms working away on mad and wonderful things. They're out there. They're out there delivering applied solutions.